So this is the pulmonary trunk, which is sending the deoxygenated blood into the lungs. And next, coming off of there, is a right and left pulmonary artery, also in blue. So here's the aorta in red, which has the oxygenated blood coming back or going to the body. And there's three names for it. First one right here where I was pointing is the ascending aorta. This would be the aortic arch. And this would be the descending aorta, which is also referred to as the thoracic descending aorta, above the diaphragm, and then below the diaphragm, it is the abdominal descending aorta. So right in here, if you can see the red vessel is the right coronary artery, descending all the way down to here. And then over on the left side, we have the left coronary artery, which is pretty small because it immediately has two branches coming off. And then branching off of the right coronary artery, the lowest branch down here is the right marginal branch of the right coronary artery. And looking at this red vessel right here coming off of the left coronary artery is the left anterior interventricular branch descending all the way down the heart. Then on the back of the heart, we have the posterior interventricular branch. And this is the circumflex branch of the left coronary artery, which wraps all the way around the heart. So coming off of the aortic branch, there's three vessels coming off here. And the one that I was pointing at is the brachiocephalic trunk, and it further divides into two branches. This one being the right subclavian branch, and this one being the right common carotid artery. So then on this side, 
this would be the right common carotid artery and the right subclavian artery. And notice that if these were actually here, a better model, that the inner two would be the common carotid left and right, and the outer two would be the right, sorry, the left subclavian and the right subclavian. So not shown in the model. There's also another artery coming off of the brachiocephalic, which would be the vertebral artery, and it runs through the vertebrae. There's also a vertebral vein. So this blue vessel carrying deoxygenated blood right here would be the superior vena cava. And this vessel below would be the inferior vena cava, both carrying deoxygenated blood into this atrium right here. So these two blue vessels right here, after the superior vena cava, the blood flows down and these are the brachiocephalic veins, which keep in mind um, the brachiocephalic trunk is right here so all the brachiocephalics are right together 